Hi guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Kerry and I love all things eyeshadow, makeup related, bright colourful eyeshadow usually. And today we're gonna to be looking at some Revolution makeup. It is a collab. Now I can't actually pronounce this. Um, I've looked it up on Google to try and see how to pronounce this correctly. And um, it's a collab between Revolution and Lenkalul. I, I have no idea if I'm saying that right or not. Um, I am not a TikTok person. I do not like to spend hours of my life on TikTok. So I don't really know, but I know it's a collab between a TikToker and Revolution. Um, the outer packaging of both of these palettes, we've got the Sublime Paradise and Celestial Dreams. These are the ones that I picked up. I thought they looked super cute. The colour stories look nice. I didn't want to get one without the other. They're £8 each, so it's quite a good price. I do usually like Makeup Revolution's collabs with other people and um, they seem to be a little bit better quality usually and um, so that's why I wanted to pick these up as well I do have some swatches for you so I shall insert them now I was a little bit surprised because the collabs that Revolution have done with other people such as Soph, um, even that palette swatched a lot better than these two did, but swatches are not everything, it all depends how it goes on the eye. Plus, this palette, the Celestial Dreams, which is one that spoke to me the most because it's colourful, um, yeah, there's a lot of pastels in here and pastels are very, very difficult to make pigmented. So yeah, I thought I'd wear my pastel hoodie today just to match and go with a little pastel theme, but I thought this one, although it's very neutral, I mean, you can see where I've had to dig into the pan here, um, to actually try and get the swatches, especially the pink. The pink really, really didn't want to swatch, so I had to dig right in there. Um, but I just feel like, although it's neutral, it is more on the sort of yellowy neutral side, which I quite like. And this dark brown was actually quite pigmented, so I'm hoping to get my depth from there, because the other palette, I was thinking, I'm not going to be getting any depth from here, and I like some depth in the outer corner. So, let's stick it on my eyeballs. I have tried to use a lot of Revolution products for my base today, um, so I will link that down below in the description box if you're interested. And I'm just using my Beauty Bay Eye Base in the shade number two. There was also a liner in this collection and some lashes as well. I can't, oh, and some three lip glosses, but I feel like I've got a lot of lip glosses that I really like, so I didn't want to pick those up. There was three in a set and I just thought I really don't need three of those lip glosses. The lashes for me, I like big dramatic lashes and they weren't, so I didn't pick those up. And yeah, I was umming and ahhing about the liner but I didn't end up getting it, but I just thought I'll try the eyeshadow palettes because I have an eyeshadow palette addiction. So my plan is to combine these two little cute palettes together because like I say, I want the depth from this one, but I really do like the pastel vibes of this one. And I really do like anything celestial and starry and that's a really nice theme. So let me think about what we're gonna do. Okay, I think I'm gonna start out with the dark brown, which is called Rise, which is this one here, and this is in the Sublime Paradise palette. And I'm just gonna start with that in the outer corner. Now this swatched really nicely, this deep brown shade compared to some of the other mattes. So I was quite pleased to see that this one swatched well. Just gonna wrap that as well onto the lower lash line a little bit. I think next I want to go into the Celestial Dreams palette and I want to go into the shade Intuition, which is this one here. I'm going to continue along just above my crease. Oh, that's coming on quite nicely. Look at that pigment. Yeah, the swatch, I mean, the shade did not want to show up at all. It was like, no, absolutely not. But on the eye, that is lovely. I do like smaller palettes at the minute as well. I do like little nine pans, so I like that it's a nice, small, travel-friendly palette. Not that I travel anywhere. <sighs> oh yeah, I really like that shade. That is beautiful. And then I think I'm gonna tap back between the brown and that purple, just to encourage 
a blend between the two. Now I'm going to go into a shade that really did not want to swatch at all and it's the shade Happiness which is this really nice lilac purple here. Um, I absolutely love lilac shades if you can't tell by my hoodie. Um, but I just want to pop this right near the inner corner in the hope it might show up like I'm really going to swirl my brush in this like come on pigment. We don't want to get fall out but oh yeah I can see it I can see it. I don't know if you'll be able to pick that up as well on camera but it's... It's showing up. It is very difficult with pastel eyeshadows. Um, it's hard to formulate them. It's hard to make them pigmented and not powdery and chalky. But yeah, that's definitely there. I want to take a bit more of that shade to just go around the top of that other purple shade just to blend it out a touch. So that we haven't got a real harsh line. I'm not going to lie, guys. I was really worried after swatching thinking, oh, no. Am I really going to dislike these palettes? But actually, as I'm putting on more pigment, I'm like, wow, these shades are actually really pretty. Then to blend out the dark brown that we've got in the outer corner, I think I'm going to go into the shade Strength, which is this shade here. And that is from the Sublime Paradise palette. I have to keep checking the names. I can remember the Celestial Dreams, um, but yeah, the other one doesn't stick in my mind as well. And we're just going to see if we can blend this out. Now I am going to keep going back between the two browns, one to the other, so that we don't have any harsh lines and it's going to be as blended as it can possibly be. But yeah, that's actually quite a lot lighter than that dark brown that we've put on. So I'm going to have to dip back into the dark brown a little bit and just stamp over where that line is, just so that it becomes a bit more diffused and, oh yeah. Yeah, that's a lot better now. That's not as harsh. I'm just going to keep working on this blend and do the same on the other side. Then I'm just going to take a bigger fluffier brush. And I think I want to go into... What should I go into next? I'm thinking Radiant, which is this one here. And I just want to use that to go along the very, very edges of that brown. Just to diffuse it even further and work on a bit more of the blend. But I found going between the two browns... Um, was the way to go. At first there wasn't wanting to blend, but the more I went back and forth with the two browns, the more I wanted to blend together. I mean, I will keep working on it and going with it until I'm happy with the blend, but I feel like this shade Radiant is blending out those browns really nicely. I'm chasing ghosts I'm like an outcast from pillar to post Hitting you up but I'm stuck on hold Is it really a bad reception out there? Where are you heading? Why ain't gravity pulling you in closer to me? Yeah, I love you But I need you And you're off my radar now Okay, I think I'll perfect that blend a bit more toward the end. Um, I need to move on and I'm not quite sure what I want to do now. I'm really liking where the sort of purple and lilac -y parts are and I don't want to cover it up too much. So I'm just going to go in with my NYX glitter glue and a flat brush and just place that everywhere I'm going to be putting the shimmer. I need something to put this on. Why, why do I have nothing in front of me? Here we go. So I'm just going to put it on a little palette and use my flat brush. Just to spread this everywhere I'm going to be popping that glitter just so it's got something to hold on to and rather than doing a cut crease um, that's super defined in a straight line this will be a little bit more dispersed and less of a strong line. Do you know what I'm trying to say? And then with that same sticky brush I am going to go into one of the shimmers. Now the shimmers we've got to choose from are all very neutral or yellow. I mean, we've got this yellow, which is Wisdom, and that looks nice. And we've also got the pink that I really did dig my finger into that's actually quite crumbly now. Um, maybe yellow in the inner corner going into the pink. I'm going to start out with the pink shimmer, which is called Sunlight, and that is from the Sublime Paradise palette. I will remember that name eventually, and I'm just going to pop this on everywhere that I had the glitter primer and there is a bit of fallout with this shade um 
a little bit crumbly but seems to be going on nicely on top of a glitter primer and I don't want it to be a super straight line like it's a cut crease so I'm just gonna dab my brush around the edge and hope that some little shimmer particles grab on <sighs> I'm quite happy with how that's looking and now I don't know what I want for the inner corner. Maybe, oh that's nice, that's really nice, that's Moonlight, which is this shade here. And I am just going to wet my brush with my Primark Primer Water, um, just so that I don't get too much fallout and then I can be a bit more precise with my shimmer. Yeah, I felt like this one was a bit more champagne-y and icy compared to some of the gold and the yellow shimmers that are in there so that actually has gone and mixed itself a little bit with that pink and I think it looks really nice I'm glad I picked that shade these two palettes work so nicely together I'm so glad that I got both I don't think I'd have been happy if I'd have just got one or the other but I feel like you can make a nice cohesive look if you've got both oh look at that I think I'm gonna put a little bit of that on the brow bone as well and then we need to finish off the lower lash line we have a little bit of a gap going on so where is my brush i think i'm going to go into a little bit more of the lilac just because i need some more i could have gone into the pink because we've got pink on the lid but i just i'm loving the little lilac moment that we have going on so i just want a little bit more oh well that's nice i'm actually quite impressed with those purples like I say, they didn't swatch the best. So putting them on now, I'm really pleased to see that they go on the eye better than they swatch. That just goes to show, swatches don't mean everything. I mean, I did panic, but look at that. That's gone on really nicely. Then I'm gonna take a big fluffy brush and go into the really, really light lilac shade, the happiness shade, and just blend out the lower lash line with this. I feel like a P. Louise base would look amazing in the waterline with this and I know exactly the one I want. It is the lilac shade in Ibiza. So let me pop that in the waterline, put on the rest of my makeup and then we'll come back and talk about the palettes and see what the finished look looks like. Okay guys, this is the finished look. Please let me know what you think. I am actually blown away. When I received these palettes, I did think the palettes... The pan sizes are a little bit smaller than I was expecting, but I thought they are cute nine pan palettes. Glad I got both. So glad that the colour stories complement each other so nicely, especially the pastels, because I am a lover of colour. Um, and I'm just blown away. Actually, with the lilac shades, I am a sucker for a lilac. Um, I think they just work so nicely together. I did have to work a little bit on the blend, especially on the brown. Um, neutrals aren't my favourite, and the matte formula is on the drier side, but I mean, it looks pigmented. It did blend. I think it looks really nice. And the shimmers, with the NYX glitter glue, I think that is the secret to those shimmers because when I was trying to swatch them, I was digging my finger right in, trying to swatch them really hard. It just wasn't coming off. The payoff wasn't there. But picking them up with the NYX glitter glue on the sticky brush and then putting them on top of where I put the NYX glitter glue, I think it works so well. I mean, look at that pink. It's sparkly, it's metallic, it's vibrant. Um, the P. Louise in the waterline matches the lilac beautifully. Like I say, I'm so glad I got both of these together. If I'd have just got one and tried to make a look with either or, I don't think I would have been as impressed. But with both of them, I mean, they're £8 each. I do think there is a discount code at the minute on Revolution's website. I think it's Rev20. And these are on Beauty Bay. And I think there's a lot of Beauty Bay codes knocking around as well. So at £8 each, I don't think that is bad at all. But even with another discount on top, I mean, that is a bargain. So if you've been eyeing these palettes, you wanted to know what they were like. Yeah, the swatches aren't the best, but swatches do not mean everything. As you can see, it's gone on the eye really well. I'm really pleased with this look. For me, these lean more toward hit than miss. Um, it depends if you love the colour stories. It depends, you know, if you're wanting to pick up more eyeshadow in these colourways. Now, obviously, I review a lot of makeup on my channel and some of it is extremely high-end. So you can't really compare my extremely high-end, good quality indie brand shadows to, you know, bag-in palettes. Let's be honest. There are two shimmers in the Celestial Dreams palette and they are more on the neutral side, although this is more of a yellowy goldy shimmer, which... I could do a look. I mean, that looks absolutely stunning. Um, I definitely would use that. 
don't know if I'd go into Super Moon as much just because it's a bit more neutrally, but for the brow bone in a corner, that looks amazing. Um, really impressed with these purples. They didn't swatch the best, but they went on the eye beautifully. And in this one, you've got three shimmers, and obviously I've dug right into this pink um, that I used on my lid. And this is the one that I went into my brow bone in a corner. Um, but this one also looks really nice. I mean, it's difficult to get a good swatch and get your finger in well. Like that hasn't picked up that much on my finger, but I think on the eye, it performs so much better. Thank you for watching this video, guys. If this is the sort of content you are interested in, then please don't forget to subscribe. And if you could like and leave me a comment down below, that would be amazing. And I'm hoping I'll see you in the next one. Bye.